Libra. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Hello for another Libra Love Tarot reading with me, Christine. So we're going to get into your reading, but I would like to move the energy just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, a lot more, and just tell you a few things. First of all, welcome. <laughs> Second of all, all readings are timeless and meant for you when you get here. So that can be in real time. It can also be you're here weeks, months, even years later. And that also goes for readings down in the playlist. They're all in the description. All zodiac signs, messages from your person, collective love readings for everybody, which will be coming very regularly now. You might see those popping up now. I would like to invite you, by the way, if you haven't already, to like today's reading and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. This really helps the channel grow, Libra, so that I can continue bringing you readings. So thank you very much in advance for that. Make sure that you have your notifications on so you know both when your readings are coming as well as maybe other zodiac signs, messages from your person. There are twin flame readings down there if you're on a twin flame reading. And again, lots of collective readings are, are going to continue coming. So you may see something and, and feel like, well, maybe that's my reading. And of course, I'm going to be going live regularly as soon as I get all the internet fixed here. Interesting. Okay, guys. I want to show you what just came through. It's the Knight of Swords and it's the Ten of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Libra, this is your energy. It's Libra and Mercury energy. Yeah, it's the Knight of Swords here, guys. So somebody has a lot to say here in the partnership placement. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. This person wants forgiveness, Libra. This is somebody who wants to say they're sorry. And look what just slid off the deck. It's the Chariot card in the upright. Yeah, that's Cancer and Energy. And, well, yeah, that's a card of movement. There have been obstacles here. This is looking at the where things are and, yeah, for, for everybody, really, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. But this person is on the move here. We see it in the Knight of Swords. They're holding the clarity right in their mouth, holding the truth, coming out of some emotional energy. This is the Knight of Swords. Again, Libra, this is your energy and it's Mercury. So it's the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. So this person has been thinking about talking for a long time and they're coming out of some tumultuous water. So it can be that this conversation is... Yeah, I, I don't know about heavy, but there's a lot to say. This is this person has a lot to say. They, they want to change something here. And yeah, I mean, the Ten of Swords is in the partnership placement. So what happened in this connection? But they're on the move. Now, your reading's already starting to come in, and I didn't actually finish telling you, so I'm just going to quickly say all the links are below, guys, okay? All the um, playlists, of course. Also, you'll find the Tarot Closet down there. And just please remember that these are general readings, so take what is for you and let the rest go. Energies, outcomes change. The future is not fixed. Okay, so just a little bit more moving, and then let's get the rest of your cards down. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho! It's the two of wands, guys. Libra, this is Mars in Aries energy, and it's where your person's energy is the strongest. I actually want to show you, too, what's um, here under the deck. It's the Sun card. As you know, this is Leo energy. This is one of the happiest cards. It's a new beginning. It's a happy outcome, you guys. Somebody here has some apologetic energy, and that's your person. Look. We see it here in the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who wants forgiveness. They have, a, they have a lot to say to you. Look at this. They're on the move in the Chariot card, and they're also on the move here in the Two of Wands. It's Mars and Aries energy, and Mars is that energy. It's the energy around your person, and it's the planet of action, passion, drive, desire. Yeah, 
This person is coming here, I feel. It can be physically on the move for some of you, literally riding, <laughs> riding the chariot here. Are you in Alaska? Look, sleigh dogs. We also have, um, yeah, plane, trains, automobile, by foot. This can also simply be moving forward toward you here on the journey, but they're making a decision and you're both here in the two of wands. You can see it. Look at the doves flying here. So this is somebody who's making a decision to come forward. Now, for some of you, this might be no contact and or in separation. Some of you, this might simply be somebody even that you're with and in the same house or you're near and you're just not talking to again. But this is very clearly somebody who wants to talk and who wants to apologize. And they're moving forward. I feel first. They're making the decision here to move. This is where their energy is the strongest. And they want to be... They want a, a good outcome here. They want a successful outcome. So what does that mean for you? Let's get into your reading. But we do see the transformational butterflies here. And that is, yeah, well, transforming how things have been. And at some point, this Ten of Swords was in the upright, Gemini energy. And there was an ending here, okay? Whether it is just an ending of not talking anymore, the end of communication, the end of a connection, whatever that ending is, this person wants wants forgiveness for that. So, and they're really wanting to, to yeah, get through here <laughs> with the sun card. What can I say? I mean, it's the outcome. Okay, you guys, I want to move the energy a little. And then we're going to bring in the rest of your cards. Beautiful Libra. All right, you guys. So let's bring in some the rest of the cards here. Let's I just want to get a little bit more moving here. All right. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the death card. Don't be scared by this card, you guys. <laughs> this is actually somebody. This is your person coming back with. Yeah. So here's what I want to tell you. This has the energy of a past, somebody from your past to love that wants to come back in a really, really different vibe. Who was this for? Was this Scorpio or Gemini? Anyway, this person wants, this is somebody you're really connected to, okay, physically, but also psychically. And it's somebody who's really wanting a second chance. And they're coming here, putting their ego aside. They know they have to put their ego aside, guys. It, they're, they're here coming, here asking for forgiveness. This person has a lot to say. They're panting. Look, it's like they've been going through these stormy waters. You can see it's a storm. Look at the palm trees blowing. This might also mean something for somebody. It won't be for everyone of locations. The water's kind of parting here. Interesting, because it's the Knight of Swords. It's Libra and Mercury energy. And what I wanted to say earlier is you see a crab here. <laughs> you know, you see this emotional energy. It's the Cancer, of course, which is the water sign, the love and the friendship. And yeah, it's also got this hard outer shell and quite soft. And it lives here at the... The crab um, lives around the shore is what I want to say. You know, it's and it's an emotional energy. And it's also somebody maybe who was hiding some of those emotions. They're coming out of here. Um, it's, look, it's like they work. They're panting. They're tired. This person really has a lot to say to you. And again, this death card is not a bad thing, you guys. Did something go on in this connection? Well, yeah. You know, this is Scorpio energy, by the way. And this is a 13 that comes to a four, the four areas of support and stability. That's the foundation. So something was very rocked, obviously, clearly, and mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. There was an ending here. Again, like I said, what was that ending? You know, it's going to be different. Did you stop talking? Did somebody move? Did you just... Um, is it a total separation? It's really just going to be different for everybody. But look, there's the transformative energy. And this is transformation. And we saw that um, it's just really clear that this person wants a second chance and they're coming to talk. They really want forgiveness here, guys. They want to change things. And they're on the move. This person, I feel like, is making the first move, okay? So it can be, like I said, that there's a little bit of this going on. Interesting, because 
you know, Libra, you just want things to be fair. You know, you want everyone to see everybody's side. So you may have said everything you've needed to say and you've just been waiting for them to come. And it does look like they are. Let's see you guys, because this is, again, this is the, the lack of ego. This is the death of the ego as well. And I want to tell you something too, if it's ever the, if it's, if you're feeling like, but yeah, you know, here in the Knight of Swords, because Mercury energy is connected also to writing and reading messages. So it can be this person has written or they might be writing a message, okay? And that could be what's coming through here. But it can also be that this is the message, that they are sorry and they want your forgiveness here. I tell you, it's really, really, really strong. There's also a very strong psychic connection here, I feel. Okay, so look what just came in. It's the Two of Swords, and it's, I think this is yours too, you guys. Yeah, look, it's the Five of Cups in reverse, and this is also yours. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get the overall energy in just a moment here. Okay, so here's the thing. It's the Two of Swords in reverse. Libra, this is your energy. It's the Moon in Libra, and it's Caddy Corner here with the Knight of Swords. So it can be that this is a little bit... Yeah, this is a little bit confusing for you, and maybe there's a little bit of indecisive energy. I feel that this person was in that energy, and you also connect it here with the chariot card. So this can also be telling us and really validating what messages have already come through for me, which is that this person is making the first move, that for you, it's just, you're just not really sure. It's a lot to take in. This could be information overload is what I want to tell you. Look, the owl here, it's information coming in okay when it's in the upright it's it's time to make a decision maybe some make some you know do some make some compromises i want to say in reverse it's it's like there's just too much information and this person has a lot to say and they're wanting a second chance here so it can be maybe that it's a little bit overwhelming for you look at the five of cups here guys coming back or coming in in reverse i should say so it's the five of cups this is Scorpio energy. And yeah, you look at the Five of Cups and this is somebody maybe who ghosted or somebody who just stopped talking to you. And that can't even be for some of you that may even be in the same household or vicinity. That won't be for everyone because there is a, an inseparation energy here too and a long distance energy. And this is coming in reverse. This is somebody that wants forgiveness. This is somebody who really wants forgiveness. Whether you decide to move on here, Libra, this person is apologetic, and I feel it's for this. It's for the Five of Cups when this is in reverse. There's regret and loss here. This is somebody who either has you still feeling unloved or felt unloved by not talking to you, not communicating, ghosting maybe in the way of distance or even just you know, when you're just not talking to somebody and it's really not um, good communication. This person has regret. They, they, You know, you're both still here and it's in reverse. And I want to tell you this is a five and that's also connecting us to the fifth chakra, which is the truth. And it's emotional, you know, and this person is coming here with the ten of swords in reverse and the five of cups of, in reverse wanting to tell you the truth, wanting an apology, or wanting, excuse me, you're wanting the apology. <laughs> they're wanting to come here and they want to be, they're, they're asking for forgiveness, you guys. Whatever that means for you after that, you know, use your free will, of course, trust yourself, your intuition here. Uh, we're going to talk about the judgment card in just a moment, but I want to get, I want to move the energy a little. And I want to get an overall energy here, you guys, okay? And yeah, I put my double swans away for a moment. I don't know, I'm just feeling my single swan again, but you know, we'll probably go back to the little overall energies too at some point. Okay, can we have an overall energy? Oh yeah. Look, they both came out together. It's the Ace of Cups in the upright. And it's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We see the emotional energy with Cancer here, weirdly, in your card. And the Libra Mercury card, you guys, in the Knight of Swords. It's healing. It's a lot of emotions. It's possibly a really big offer. 
it's super emotional because this person is worrying about things here. Are you maybe moving on? Is somebody worried about somebody moving on or just maybe not talking? This person also just knows that they need to put your worry at rest. At the very least here, there's an apology, you guys, for that five of cups. So can this be that this is the offer? Yeah, because look, the Lotus is here, which is healing energy. They're coming up from, you know, the, the mud and from things that happened and you can see what was going on here in the knight of swords this person's coming out of that finally i feel taking a step forward here it can be even a bigger offer it just it can be but it it won't be for everyone i feel the offer is an apology because the ace of pentacles capricorn virgo taurus in reverse is somebody who's worrying about it i'm going to put it below and it can this person is worried but it can also be that they know that how much they hurt you and they don't want they just this is somebody who just really wants to communicate an apology here guys they don't want to leave it that way whatever that's going to mean and it's clear look it's the judgment card you're both here and guys the judgment card well yeah you know this is Archangel Gabriel, it's the angel for messages here. It's coming together for the greater good. And look, look what Archangel Gabriel has saying, look here, this heart, this forlorn puppy here is saying, this dog is saying, you need to give, you need to apologize because this is getting clarity. This is making the decision that they've had a hard time making. This is a wake up call. So this person has had a wake up call and it's right here catty corner with the chariot on the move with this wake up call this is the, the fine this is the decision that they know they need to come and say they're sorry it, can it be something bigger yeah you're going to know that it's not going to be for everyone i feel that this is somebody whether it comes in a message that i feel or this is the sorry here today but this person is apologetic they're sorry for hurting you um, they've had a wake-up call and they're clear about that. They know that they hurt you. Look, the heart here right on the outside. Look at the transformational energy. I mean, it's the judgment card. And you're both here. And that's also the two. And that's also, uh, yeah, the partnership. That's also balance. And there was a lack of that. And you're a Libra and you want the truth to come. You want it to, you want to know what the heck is going on. And you also just want an apology you know you may never get that in the 3d you guys but because it can be that this is the apology coming through i have to say a lot of you will though and whether it's in person or strongly what's coming through for me is in a message and i just wanted to show this to you it's interesting because it's sort of like some of the sun energy here in the ace of cups almost looks like a um mosaic what is that why am i sudden why is that suddenly eluding me but it's sort of like taking off the glasses you know what i mean and being able to see and the dove is flying right here and i feel like helping to move all of those clouds out of the way so that the crown chakra here can shine and that's of course connecting us to the sun and we saw the sun didn't we that happy outcome i think that was in the, the deck I think we saw that come through yeah and here's also an offering too i have to say there's also love and friendship in the ace of cups so it can be that this is really affecting also the friendship or a friendship that you have with this person and that's why they know regardless of what you guys are planning to do that they need to apologize here because that's a peace offering and this is healing here and it's emotional so there can be some crying here you know i'm coming in in this way too because this, this person just knows that they need to get over their ego here in this death card. And what second chance do they want? Just to talk again? Do they want more? Maybe. It can be. This is a totally new start, second chance, that this is a proposal. That's a really big one. It won't be for everyone, but it is here. But it's also a proposal can be, again, that message of saying, you know, I want to apologize. And maybe for some of you, there's a meeting. You know, it's not super clear here. And by the way, those three cups, that's the three cups here. So 
what is so what was going on maybe in that third cup that's so emotional that maybe put us here i feel like there's a lot of emotions around this of maybe holding back or not great communication but that can sometimes tell us that there's maybe some other connections involved you know that were part of this why this was in the five of cups because there's a lot of there's still energy between the two of you and that can also be the friendship I'm feeling but love too you know and respect that this person needs to apologize I feel okay you guys I'm gonna bring in Libra some some uh <laughs> oracle and as i said that look this was showing itself and it's in reverse it's the root card it's earth energy all the leaves have changed and it's in reverse sometimes this i know it sounds weird but sometimes this brings in the tower energy for me only in that you need to get to the root of the issues but it can also be telling us that somebody maybe maybe there's somebody here maybe it's even you that may have some energy connecting with well yeah kind of the higher font other contracts it's not going to be for everybody here but that just showed itself interesting okay i'm going to move the energy guys then we're going to see what's here and close your reading libra okay it's the armor coming off swiss gemini too <laughs> look it's the boundaries it's feeling like you don't have to wear the armor anymore yeah this is a truce here this is talking again you guys this is an apology and it's talking again what you decide to do after that you know <laughs> i'm just delivering your message for you but it's the armor off it's the boundaries not feeling like because people put them there because they don't want to get hurt they don't want to get hurt again they don't want to get hurt look what just revealed itself there's the sun again they don't want to get hurt and it's in reverse so the the armor is coming off for this conversation it's a really good sign for me i like that it's healing you know it's uncomfortable and heavy and mentally does a lot to you to have to wear that and feel like you have to protect yourself so i feel like this conversation coming in it might be tiring it might be emotional but it doesn't feel like it's going to be anything super negative if you know what i mean because it's apologetic energy and there's the sun i think we saw it in the tarot and we're seeing it here in the oracle card i mean vitality this is the source you guys god goddess the universe you need the sun to highlight the moon the subconscious you need the conscious to highlight the subconscious to see everything you need this is the life force you know and it's the outcome and it's a happier outcome and it's somebody who wants to get this apology to you so if that's the outcome that's the success that's it you know if it's more if the proposal's bigger then it's more you know you see them blocking it here but you also see the sun behind there you know okay i just know that this person knows that they need to get this message to you this apology to you yeah look passage it's a new passage and also here there's that hierophant energy interesting so maybe some some energy that somebody felt is expectations you know conformity because this is the evil eye you know it's also can be protective from that and it's passing under it so going to a new path it's like yeah it's getting away from that it's going under and here going into something new a new passage a new a new journey for you a new way of communicating for some of you whether if you're wanting to come together or stay together whatever the case may be or take a new journey completely or simply heal that healing energy there in the lotus flower with the offer of the apology just so that things are left in a different place because this person has clarity they know look at that i mean yeah archangel gabrielle is not letting that um not letting this person get past them <laughs> okay oh wow you guys yeah look connection it's the heart connection just as i say that look archangel gabrielle with that heart very different cards very similar here how many valves are there one two th three four five the truth truth of how they feel what happened boy you guys 
This could be big for some of you because they're worried about it, this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe they're wanting to upright that. Maybe that's the offer. You know, that's that's taking things to another level, and that can be marriage. It won't be for everyone, I tell you. And there might be other people involved here, and, you, you, you know, it's kind of going under that here into a new pathway. It's bridge. It's divine connection as well. Okay, yeah, you guys, look, it's potential here. This can often mean for me reunion energy can be this energy of a proposal. It's not going to be for everyone. It's also the potential that's still here. And you see it here. There's there's stuff to work out. If this is someone that you're wanting to work this out with. I feel like it's really a high probability, okay? Look at that. heart. The heart, connection, flower bouquet, potential, the armor off. A new passageway here. This is kind of a big deal, actually, Libra. Even if this is just simply being able to heal so that you can feel, move on, the two of you, if that's what you're wanting to do. This person, I feel like, is making that move. This is the last one. Oh, yeah, look, things are aligned now. Unconditional. Ooh, guys. I just got to say that's bringing in. For some of you, that's bringing in that song. I just got pen on me. <laughs> Unconditionally. I can't fit the whole word here. Unconditional. No, I can't fit the whole word at all. <laughs> Somebody looks at this reading and sees that. They're like, what the heck is that? Unconditionally, that's the Katy Perry song. I love you unconditionally. This can be, for some of you, a super big offer or even just talking and forgiving and crying. And for those of you that feel like you can't move on or maybe you physically can't, you know, whatever here, it's a, it's a, I feel like it's a connection that's, that's going to, a conversation that's going to end at least beautifully of feeling connected. It's aligned here. It's, this is the journey of love. Look at the, the sun behind it too, the knowing new cycle for you and at the very least not not talking anymore you know whether whether you guys take this somewhere else wow libra what a beautiful reading thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate it if you enjoyed today's reading please like the reading and subscribe to the tarot closet if you haven't this really helps the channel to keep going, you guys, and moving so that I can not only bring you your readings, which may or may not be for you each week, but the collective readings, which you might find sometimes it pop up and say, oh, that, that might be for me. And also other readings, you know, messages from your person if you're on a Twin Flame journey. And I will be going live regularly. I'm going to be opening up memberships and doing live pulls for you. But I just need to get the internet sorted. So maybe you want to know about that. Again, all the links are below if you want to check those out, including the tarot closet. And yeah, either way, thank you really very much for joining me today. I wish you love, light, all things good. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye, Libra. Bye.